Hello, YouTubers, diecast collectors. It's Jared White, the J Man. Six, three, and it is Wednesday, August 30th, 2017. And if you guys know anything about August, if you follow me on social media, you will know that the month of August is my birthday. So I had a great birthday. If this haul is anything to go by, um, I will just show you briefly. I've had a great couple of trips and vacations. My summer has been awesome. I went. I wound up going to Hershey Park, and I went to Pennsylvania and took a nice little trip down there. And I went to Cooter's Last Stand to get my car signed. I shouldn't really spoil that, but I know you've seen the General Lee before, and I'm sure you want me to explain why I'm showing it again. I went to a bunch of other trips, and my parents went to Puerto Rico on their honeymoon, and they got me some stuff for my birthday. So, without further ado, I am going to crack on here, and I bought some Hot Wheels at Walmart and at Farm Fresh with the last of my money. So... I'm going to crack on with this haul, and you guys are going to see all this stuff. So what I will mention is, guys, if you can, um, keep on getting your comments in, and rate down below, and uh, make sure you give a thumbs up, or thumbs down if you don't like the video, and um, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 450 now, I've subscribed to a bunch of channels, so if you can, guys, return the favor, please. Alright guys, I'm going to crack on with this haul. So the first car up here is a Matchbox, and don't ask me what case, because they made it so confusing as to what cases are in what car. Ugh, why did you do that, Hot Wheels and Matchbox? So if you can tell me what, how I can determine the case, please tell me. But this Hot Wheels, um, sorry, Matchbox, 2015 Subaru WRX STI police car, it is very cool. I love the Subaru WRX and the body kits that are on this. Actually, this was the these were the cars that I spent with the last of my money at, from vacation. So I went to Farm Fresh and I splurged a little bit on about ten Matchbox and Hot Wheels. So I got this one from the Farm Fresh. Very cool car. Nice uh, headlight tampos. Nice grill in the front. Very nice wheels, little five spokes going on here. Police on the side. I'm sure you guys have seen most of these before, but I figured I would just highlight them since I got them. Nice little light bar on the top and taillights in the back. No tampos in the back. Ugh. But anyway, very cool car. Next up is the VW Transporter Cab. Nice little V dub. Love this uh, Volkswagen. Very cool. Nice green with the headlights in the front. Tampo. Tan interior. Nice green with the... It's even got a trailer hitch on the back, so if you want to hitch up some little trailers to it, you can. I don't know how you would do that, but it's pretty cool. And like I said, tan interior. So, nice little VW transporter cab. Now this one. I'm sure you know that I had to get this because I love red. Red is my favorite color. So... There are a couple red cars in this haul. 95 Custom Chevy Van. This is very cool. Nice chrome in the front. Nice little uh, detailing down the sides here. They did have to put a lot of tampos, so thank you Matchbox for that. Very cool. And it's even got a little motorbike in the back. Now there's a variation of this with a tire, I'm sure as you guys know. I wanted the motorcycle just because I think motorcycles are cool, and I had to get this version. Even got a light bar. So, 95 custom Chevy van. Very, very cool piece. Alright. Next up here is the Mercedes-Benz AMG 6x6. Pretty sweet little SUV. Nice in the front here with the tampos. There's only a couple tampos in the front here. Headlights in the little Pentastar or the little Mercedes Benz Star logo. Nice wheels. This car actually beats out a few exotics. I saw this on a race channel. This car is so heavy you can actually it can actually beat some of the exotic cars going on a downhill race. Pretty cool truck. Nice tampos right there. Nice wheel. 
in the back right there. And it's a nice piece. So, really like this uh, SUV. Alright, so now that's the Matchbox. I got it farm fresh out of the way now for the Hot Wheels. I got it farm fresh out of the way. First off here is the Fate of the Furious Dom's Ice Charger. And don't ask me what case this came out of. I'm going to say H case because the last number is H, but don't quote me on that. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but this is the Ice Charger. Very cool. Dom's uh, car from the new movie. I believe this is Dom's. And uh, just fits nicely with a Fast and Furious collection. I don't know if I'll... I probably wouldn't get the 143rd scale if Greenlight comes out with one because it's, it's just too expensive to collect all the 143rds from them unless they're from the first two movies. But I do like the Hot Wheels scales of these and I do like to collect these when they come out. They're only a buck, so hey, what what more can you ask for? Nice little turbines on the on the uh, trunk there. Very nice. Even got the little window rivets on the sides. I really like this car a lot. <clears throat> this one I wound up picking up at the Dollar Tree. Actually, um, I picked I picked two of these up at Dollar Tree, so they weren't all at Farm Fresh. But I did go on one trip down there and spend all my money on Hot Wheels, and this was one of them. Ford Focus RS. This has the Coney graphics on the side. Come on, camera, focus. Coney graphics on the side here. There's something on the package. Alright, got it off. Nice Coney graphics. Very cool. Hot Wheels speed graphics. Um, see, this is where it gets confusing. It says 54 on here, and there's K. I'm not exactly sure, but that's where it gets confusing for the cases. I'm not sure if this is K case or not. I believe it might be. So this is pretty cool. Alright, so there's that one. And this is the Huayra. I picked this one up at Farm Fresh 2. Uh, 2017 Huayra Roadster. Actually, I wound up getting about 9 Hot Wheels. One of them I got before the trip. So, the 2017 Huayra Roadster. Very cool piece, nice blue. Wish they would have come out with it in red. But, you know, hey, what can you ask for? Nice blue, though. Hey, I like it. Nice taillights in the back. Nice, uh, looks like the pizza wheels on there. Nice in the front here. It's a nice wire. Got this one at the Walmart before I went on vacation. Before I went to Pennsylvania, this was kind of just a random pickup that I bought. I was bored, I kind of went out, and I bought Surf and Turf. Nice Larry Wood casting, and I, I'm going to guess this is in the end case. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not sure which castings go to which case, because it's very hard to tell. New for 2017. Really love this piece. I'm not sure if this one had a... No, it didn't have a description on the back. Very, very cool, though. Here's a description if you want to read. Really, none of them have a description on the back. Not yet, though. Hopefully, a few of them will. Here, you can read that if you want. All right, so there's that one. Nice random pickup from Farm Fresh. I love Woody Wagons, so I had to get that one. This one is a cool fantasy one. I, I just like uh, Ferraris and fast things in general, and like Lamborghinis and stuff, so I got this one, the Gazella GT. This one's just a very cool little car. Um, and for a fantasy, it's not too bad. I kind of like this one. Nice red. Not sure if the body's plastic or not. I can not tell you. But it's cool. It reminds me of like a Ferrari or a Maserati or some kind of Grand Prix car. Something different from Hot Wheels. I really like some of these fantasy and this is no exception. So I had to get this one in red when I saw it. And I don't know, I believe... I think I got this at Farm Fresh. Yeah, I got this at Farm Fresh too. Very cool. <clears throat> this one I did buy at Dollar Tree when I saw it at Dollar Tree with the uh, Ford Focus. This was the uh, Fugu Z Custom Datsun 240Z. Nice graphic in the back there. Nice wheels. It's a very cool car. Um, I wanted to get the orange one, but when I saw this white one, I kind of had to pick it up. 
nice headlights in the front, very nice piece. All right, these next two, I got them uh, a little after Farm Fresh. I got these at Walmart. This is the Volkswagen T2 pickup with a nice artsy street feel vibe to it. It's in the Art Cars series. <clears throat> and there is a description. This one had a description, so if you want to read that, you can. There you go. All right, so another for this one, if you want to read that, you can. There you go. But I, I really think this is cool. Nice V-dub with the headlights in the front. Well, it doesn't have headlight tampos, but it's got a nice front end to it. And it's got nice artsy graphics, nice exposed engine in the back, and there you go. But nice little T2. And the last one is, uh, it's not really my favorite but I got it at Walmart as another pickup. It's the 2017 Camaro ZL1. Uh, I, I really am not a big fan of the new Camaros, but I like the ZL1 version because it's the more sporty version. But I just I don't like the new Camaros. I'm not a big fan of the headlights. The grill's kind of ugly, and I just... It, it's all right in a Hot Wheels format. I will get it because it's a modern muscle, and I do like Camaros, but... I'm not a huge fan of the new body style. I do like the Exorcist uh, Hennessy version of this. If they ever come out with the Exorcist model, I will get it. But it's a very neat car, I guess. Um, Z01 right there, black stripe. Nice gray, gunmetal gray five-spoke wheels there. It's just very cool. And if you want to read this description, you can. There you go. 50 years of Camaro, 1967, 2017, 50 years of Camaro. All right, so I'm going to keep cracking on here, and I'm going to start with vacation stuff. So I went on a great vacation. I had an awesome, awesome trip, and the first thing you're going to notice is I'm showing my keychains, and uh, I got a bunch of cool keychains. I got went to Hershey Park. And I got this one, it said Coaster Hero. And this one's so big, it's the only one I got because it's so clunky and I didn't feel like I needed any more keychains from Hershey Park. And I am definitely a Coaster Hero. I love riding roller coasters, so I definitely had to get this one. Very cool. Next one here I got, because of my old cat Panther that died, I got this at the Broad Street Market. Um, if you don't know anything about the Broad Street Market, we were in Harrisburg in uh, Pennsylvania, and they've got some of the most amazing Amish food, out-of-this-world pastries. And uh, when I was there, this African lady was selling uh, handmade goods, and I got this keychain for five bucks. So this was a pretty good purchase. Nice little wood-carved panther. And uh, the next one here is uh, from... I went to the AACA, Antique Automobile Club of America Museum. Um, if you guys have not watched the two videos I have up on my channel, make sure you guys go check those out. The railroad display and the, um, and the uh, assembly line display of the uh, inner workings of the older assembly line that I uploaded. There were two videos on there, so go check those out. That's a very cool museum. I actually saw a real Tucker torpedo, a 48 Tucker. Um, that museum is amazing. They got cars, buses, motorcycles, and more. It is an amazing museum. You could definitely spend a day there. It is the coolest place if you love cars in Hershey, Pennsylvania. It is awesome. And I wound up getting some shirts, two shirts from uh, the AACA Museum. I got a Milton Hershey station wagon shirt and a 48 Tucker shirt. So I got two shirts from there that were pretty cool. And, um, yeah, I gotta say, Hershey Park is a little spendy. I wound up buying a $30 t-shirt there. Um, but it was Under Armour, so it was a nice shirt. Alright, so this next one here, I went to Indian Echo Caverns. This was a really cool place. They had a, It was a nice cave, and uh, it was pretty nice. Here's the back if you want to read it. Wedding chapel room. But there you go. Alright, so there was that. And uh, I'll mention one thing for my birthday. I had a really cool cake. It was actually a drag strip cake that had uh, timing lights on it. 
it was pre-stage stage and it had these on it and it was actually two cars staged at a drag strip and the drag strip was done with fondant the uh, barriers were done with uh, crispy cr or not crispy cream uh, rice crispy treats and the um, the side the uh, frosting was done with like almond frosting and it had grass on the side it was a really cool drag strip cake that I had it was like a marble cake with chocolate and uh, yellow cake or vanilla cake I don't know but it was a really nice cake so it was really cool. So I don't know if you guys can envision it, but this was on my cake for my birthday. Just wanted to show that. If you're on Facebook, look at the photos of it. It's really cool. All right. So now I'm going to get on to more of the haul. When I was at Indian Echo Caverns, I did get some really cool magnets there. Um, I got this piece of purple agate, and it's a uh, fridge magnet here. My camera will focus. Uh, come on, focus. But yeah, it's really cool. Nice little fridge magnet. And then I got an arrowhead. Sorry, I'm feeling under the weather today, guys. I just... Not feeling 100%. Been having a cold the last couple days. But very nice... Uh, arrowhead magnet. Alright, so next up, I'm going to show some rocks. I did get some rocks at the cave when I was there. This one is a gastropod. Now, I would show the souvenir pennies that I got, but I figured you guys didn't want to look at a whole bunch of squished pennies that I got. Nice little gastropod, though, that I got there. And a piece of pyrite. I'm kind of a rock fan. I do like to collect rocks and crystals and stuff, so that's kind of my thing. I'm sure you've seen, if you see my dresser, you guys would know. And I got a piece of a geode, which I thought was pretty cool because it was almost like a purpley color. Pretty cool. Alright, so there's that stuff. And uh, I got a fridge magnet from the AACA Museum. This was pretty cool. So there's that one. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to the postcards. When I went to Hershey Park, I, uh, I did get some postcards. <sighs> one was Hershey's Cocoa from the uh, Echo Caverns. I believe I got this there. I didn't get it actually at Hershey Park. But this was the factory, and I thought this was pretty cool. This was from the water park, from Hershey Park. I thought that was pretty neat. Pretty awesome. I like that. This is Hershey's Chocolate Factory. Now, I do wish I'd gotten more postcards. The only thing is, they didn't have such a great selection of postcards. But I did get, I did get quite a few there. I thought this was pretty cool. This one is from the Comet at Hershey Park. Even got the Great Bear there in the foreground, and it's got the Comet there. It's pretty cool. Echo Dell. This is from Indian Echo Caverns. This was one of the rooms there. I couldn't tell you what room it was, but this one's really cool. And then this one is another one, Echo Dell. This is the Wedding Chapel Room from Indian Echo Caverns. Pretty cool. All right. And this one I got from the AACA, Antique Automobile Club of America Museum. Very cool place. Pretty sweet postcard, i got to say. It's even got all the little inner parts of the museum there. What, what's what's inside the museum right there? If you look closely. Tucker 48. Um, I did get a shirt there, so I was about to say shirt. But uh, no, this is the Tucker 48 from the museum. Very cool. Postcard. And back to the other one. All right, so that's the postcards. And uh, I got some souvenirs from Hershey Park. 
And like I said, I got a shirt there. They tend to be a bit spendy, but they weren't too, too bad, I guess. Hershey Park hat, HP Hershey Park. And I've got the Lightning Racer pin. I did like the pins. I was going to try and get a Skyrush pin there, but they did not have a pin of the Skyrush. So unfortunately, I did not get one. But this is a very cool hat. Pretty sweet. Alright, so, and I also got a mug there from the Chocolate World. Had the has the triple towers on it. Right there. Pretty cool mug. And, uh, got a snow globe from the park. I Like I said, I wound up getting a shirt there, too. Pretty cool. It's got the coasters on it since I like coasters. But that's pretty cool. Alright, that was also, I will say, I went to, um, my parents went to Puerto Rico. Oh, I will say, Chocolate World. I did wind up going to Chocolate World. And I did create your own candy bar. I got one that said Jared's on it. Made in Hershey, Pennsylvania, Hershey Park. And uh, here's the little slip that came with it. The ticket. And this is the inside. But here you go. Create your own candy bar. And, uh, that was the bar. It was pretty big. Mine was white chocolate, butterscotch, and toffee chips and cookie bits that I got on my bar. And it came in a nice little tin. So this is one of the uh, few souvenirs I got from Chocolate World. So pretty cool. Alright, so I also, my parents went to Puerto Rico and uh, they got me some stuff from their honeymoon. They got me a couple pens. This one right here with the Cokie Frog and the Puerto Rican flag. And then this one that's a Cokie Frog holding the Puerto Rican flag. Some pretty cool shirt pins. Also got a magnet from Vieques, Island D. Vieques. Or Island of Vieques. Pretty cool magnet. A Sculpey magnet right here. Puerto Rico. This one's pretty cool. They also got me a naval cannon. Pretty sweet. So it doesn't actually fire anything. I tried blowing into it and seeing if it would actually fire anything, but you can't fire anything out of it. It's for display purposes only. It won't fire a small round of gunpowder. But it's pretty cool. Alright, so now... Last thing I want to show you guys, and I'm almost done with this haul, some fidget spinners. I wound up getting some. The skull that I've reviewed, this one's very cool. It's about 13 bucks on eBay. Now I am missing two spinners. One I left in Sheila's Jeep. It's a pink one that glows in the dark and it glows red. And um, I am missing one because I lost it on a roller coaster at Hershey Park. I had it in my pocket, and it was a purple one. That was a skull. It was a rainbow skull one that had crossbones and everything. So, unfortunately, I lost that one, which sucks. But this one's really cool. Now, this one is a light-up LED fidget spinner. I will review these eventually on my channel. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But this one's very cool. Genesis. It's a Genesis spinner. So, that one's pretty cool. And this one's a green, sparkly one. It's really nicely weighted. I really like this spinner. It's pretty neat. Alright, and then this one is another Genesis. Which is almost the same as my blue one that I had that got a little chipped up. This one's pretty cool. Alright, so, now, speaking of, as I was talking about before, I went to Chocolate World... And I got these two cars. Now, to me, Chocolate World was a real price gouge in the gift shop. Um, their stuff was way too expensive, in my opinion. But I did get this Reese's Ford Mustang GT. Um, to me, these cars were a little cheaply made. They were wellies. And um, you know, I don't even think these had rubber tires or an opening hood or any opening doors. And these were about 7 bucks. So, yeah. 
for not being an M2 machine and being seven bucks. <clears throat> I really thought these were pricey. I didn't even get a t-shirt or a mug at Chocolate World, so yeah, I wasn't going to spend anything else there. I got the pennies from there, but I did not get anything else. So this Mustang GT is what I got, and it has headlights in the front, and in the back it's got taillights and a spoiler, but I just got these two. Hershey's 1953 Chevy pickup, another one by Welly. That's a pretty cool truck. But like I said, I think they're way too expensive for what they were. But they're pretty, they're all right. I, uh, you now this Dale Earnhardt helmet, um, this has a bit of a backstory. I, uh, I was supposed to get this for Christmas, and my, me and my Aunt Lenny got it during October down at one of our thrift stores. And I didn't wind up getting this because it got lost in my mom's room and she meant to give it to me, but it never happened. So I just finally found it in my mom's room cleaning up. So this is really cool. It's a Dale Earnhardt helmet. Earnhardt, sorry, helmet. NASCAR Authentics by Simpson. And it's pretty cool. Snap on right there. Just a really neat helmet. <clears throat> and this last thing here, these last two, uh, these Fast and Furious cars. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat's kind of acting up on me a little. I'm a little under the weather, excuse me. But uh, these Fast and Furious cars, these were the two driven by Paul Walker and Too Fast, Too Furious. I thought these were really cool. Um, these are pretty neat uh, because he uh, jumped onto the boat with this one with uh, Therese Gibson, and this is the Mitsubishi race in the movie. And I normally think these are really expensive, but for Paul Walker's cars... Um, my dad paid 25 bucks for these. These were on clearance, and I thought I'd never get these because these were on sale forever, and nobody bought them, and I can't believe nobody got them. And um, these were on sale forever, and I finally managed to get these. So, very happy, and for clearance of 25 bucks for these two cars, not a bad deal at all. Normally, this set's $40, so that wasn't bad, but very cool set. And the last thing here is I finally got my Dukes of Hazard car signed. I went to Cooter's Last Stand, and I got all the signatures on the hood, both uh, Bo Duke, Luke Duke on the hood. I can't, you can't really make it out too well, but if you look really closely, right there. And it's got Daisy Dukes on the trunk right there, if you can look. Uh, but yeah, very cool. And now this piece is possibly worth $250, but to me, this is priceless. Alright, well that's it, guys. Um, <clears throat> um, hopefully I will be coming into some money soon, because I got a job coming, because Dars finally got off their slow butts and finally got me a job coach to help me find a job. So hopefully I'll be coming into some money soon. So, and I got 350, almost 350 subs, so hopefully I'll be doing a 350 sub special soon. So guys, I've subscribed people, so if you're out there, make sure you return the favor and subscribe to me. And um, I just hope, like I said, I'll have some money soon, and I'll be coming into some, and I'll have a job. So I'm, my job coach is working at it right now, so I'm just praying that that'll happen. So guys, like I said, make sure you subscribe, comment, and if it has to do with diecast and anything haul related and anything cars, it has to be the J-Man 6-3. Have a good one, guys. Bye.